B Squad, and welcome back to another episode of B Girl TV. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, by the title of this video, I'm sure you already know what this video is about. So many of you guys have been reaching out to me via Instagram and asking me to do this video and I've been promising you guys that I was going to do this video but a lot's been going on but I'm here nonetheless okay bringing you this video so basically one of the things that affected me a lot when I came to Panama and not only me I have a couple of other friends that have experienced the same things if or other skin conditions coming from where I lived um which is New York which we experienced uh, different seasons, shall I say. Um, so my skin, I think my skin, ha because I was there for so long, my skin adapted to the different seasons, temperatures. And New York isn't really that humid, humid, okay? And even when it's like summertime, it's still not even as humid as it is here in Panama. So I think that played a huge effect in my skin. So the first, I didn't even notice it at first right so I got here and you know I thought everything was fine and then one day I would get like random like bumps on my face um and I'm like what the heck is this and it wasn't like small little bumps they were huge like cystic acne bumps and the thing about like when you have a melanin or when you are um a black person or whatever you want to call yourself but when you are a person of color when you get pimples or acne scars tend to linger okay the aftermath is what is the most annoying thing is the dark spots either all over your face um i would have them on my chest area i would have them on my back it was so many things that was happening to me at one time and I could not seem to figure out what it was. So I stopped eating dairy, I stopped eating like drinking milk and I changed to almond milk. Like I tried, I was doing a whole bunch of research and trying to figure out what was going on with my skin and I couldn't find anything that worked. I went to a dermatologist, the dermatologist gave me a whole bunch of stuff. Um, neither one worked nothing worked the only thing that actually worked was this spot treatment called free acne so i was using this in conjunction with some other products and then once i started researching the product i realized that it really wasn't for you know melanated skin okay it was not for melanated skin um which what which is why it wasn't working like the soap was drying out my skin it just wasn't working um, and so I have a cousin, shout out to my cousin Vivica, okay, she suffered from a really bad acne and she, her, her as well. For those of you who followed me in the very beginning of when I first started Instagram or some of my older videos, you'll hear me say that I'm having like struggling with my, with my skin and finding what works for me. Well, my cousin had really bad acne. It was uh, worse than mine's, okay? Um, and she told me that her esthetician told her to use these products. Her skin cleared up so fast. She looked like a whole different person. And all the products are 100% natural, um, except for this, okay? This is medicated. This is like if you have, you know, a pimple, you put it on and it's supposed to disappear the following day. The problem with this is that it wasn't helping with the hyperpigmentation. The pimple would go away, but it still left like dark spots. Everyone that I know, a lot of people that I know, I shouldn't say everyone that I know, when they come to Panama, they suffer from some type of skin issues, okay? Whether it is adult acne, whether it's ass acne, cystic ass acne, um, eczema, they all suffer from some sort of skin problem like I can count on maybe like one hand the people that I know that has not um suffered from them you know they haven't suffered from any skin problems you know you were blessed in that area you know god bless you you know I, I wish you know that I didn't but for some of you you may experience these issues so in this video I actually broke down my skincare routine for you guys 
it is something that helped me if you are interested in purchasing any of the products you can get them in by clicking the links in the description box I've linked every single product and if you do purchase I do get a percentage from it so I just wanted to let you guys know that um so stay tuned to this. so I am finally doing this video don't mend my shower cap because I don't want to get my hair wet I just got my hair done yesterday um today I will be showing you my skincare routine so the first thing that I usually start with my black soap um so what I usually do is I'll just take the liquid part because I actually take a shower with this as well. I know it looks really crazy, but believe me, trust me, this is magic. Um, I usually take the liquid part of it once it's melted and then I rub it on my face. I add a little water to stretch it out. And then because one of the things one of the things that I experienced a lot, even though I was washing my face, for some reason, even though I was washing my face, it still wasn't like getting deep, deep into my, into my, into my pores, my pores, and someone suggested, well not someone, but an esthetician recommended that I get this. Um, basically, what this is, is it's a brush for your face it gets deep into the into the pores so that it can like clean out every single gunk and all that that you have going on there so what I do is I usually wet it turn on to the highest power because that's how I am and I do this for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds depending on you know what I have going on. Okay. Now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna wash my face. Also gonna wash this off as well. Keep that clean. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass, and I am going places. Makes me laugh about the iron. Okay, so now that I have this going on, I actually am going to get a white towel. To, to towel blush my face. So the reason why I like to use white towels is because white towels usually do not have any dye in it. Dye in it. White towels do not have dye in it. So I just like blush my face. So now this next step is super important. Oh, let me show you guys what the soap looks like. I know I showed it to you in, you know, while it was already like wet, but I want to actually show you what the box looks like. So this is actually the soap that I use. I actually get it on Amazon because I do not sell it here in Panama. Um, and I usually get a pack of six because they, I use it on my body as well. I used to suffer from really, really bad um, adult acne on my chest and my back when I moved here. And this is what has helped me thus far. Um, this is what it looks like when you first get it. I love it. This next step, which is super important, is to your toner. So this is the toner that I use, which is Thayer's, Thayer's Natural Remedies Witch, ha Witch Hazel. I don't know why I can't speak right now. Um, but it is so important to use a toner. Um, it cleans off whatever extra zest or mess or gunk and it gets deep down into the skin living here in Panama you know it, because of the heat and the humidity it tends to open up your pores which subjects you to more germs and more bacteria getting into your skin so this is super important guys and I will leave the link in the description box of all the products that I'm using so that you can go ahead and purchase it as well because if you are in Panama some of these products you will not be able to get if at any of these products you probably won't be able to get at all um and if you're in the states i'm sure you could get these from target walmart wherever um but if you're just lazy and don't want to go outside you can get them from amazon so this is the next step you can either use um these cotton pads which i was using but my friend psyka has these this is her business She has these reusable um, pads, cleaning pads. 
I will leave the information in the description box and you get two of these for $3. They are reusable. So this is what I'm going to be using for my, to clean my face with my toner. Okay, so basically you're going to put a, decent, a good amount of toner on the pad and you're basically going to wipe your face. And I know guys, it seems like it's so much things to do, but trust me, it's worth it. I never had acne a day in my life. When I came to Panama, I suffered from crazy hyperpigmentation and acne, and I didn't know what the heck to do. And I finally found a remedy that worked, and I'm gonna share it with you guys because this is a possibility that if you are coming from the States, you may suffer from some sort of skin problem. I know people that came from the States and they suffer from either adult acne or eczema. So that is something that you want to keep in mind. Okay, so now that I've wiped my face down with the pad, I actually use, this is the next step. Now, I just wanna be very clear that I usually do this at night and I skip a day, so it's every other day. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it today, but again, I usually do it at nighttime when I'm going to sleep, and I usually do one day yes, one day no. So this is called Baja's Salic Acid BHA 2% Liquid. Um, it has natural herb ingredients. It's a mild skin peeling solution, um, and this is what it looks like. And again, you cannot get this product in Panama, so you would definitely have to get it off of Amazon. Okay, so now I'm going to use the second pad and I'm going to put some of the exfoliant on the pad and then I'm going to literally just wipe it on my face. Once I have it on my face, um, I'm going to let it sit. I do want to say one thing about these pads because I usually, before I purchased these pads, I usually was using the cotton pads and I just want to say that these cotton of oh, these kinds these reusable cloth pads are so much better than the cotton pads so if you guys can get uh, reusable pads pads go ahead and get them because for some reason I'm noticing that with the cotton it absorbs the product so fast it absorbs the product where I have to keep on putting more and more on just to make my face, to make, to make it seem like I, or make me feel like I have product on my face because it absorbs so much of the product. This, what I've noticed is that it actually does not absorb the product so much to the point where you have to keep on, pro keep on putting product on. So I actually like this. All right, so while this is sitting, I'm gonna actually wash out both of my pads. I like the way washed out both of my pads I'm actually gonna set them to dry um, right here and so now you want to wet it again with water Ooh. I can feel the the solution like on my face right now you're gonna take water and you're gonna wipe it off Now, I just want to say one thing about these pads. You want to make sure that you clean it very, very well after every use. Um, so after I'm done my whole skincare routine, I'm definitely going to wash this out with soap and water because you don't want this to get filled like with bacteria or get bacteria in this and then you put this on your face. It just might not be a good look. So yeah. All right, guys. So... Now that I've wiped off my face, this is the next step. Um, I'm going to use this Baja Serum, okay? Now, again, this has, well, again, like I said, I usually do the, these two steps at night. This is a step that I do every single day, every night. The exfoliating skin peel is every other night, but this is what you use every single night. Um, this is a serum. And it has vitamin three and vit vitamin vitamin three, vitamin B three, and vitamin B five in it. So it's just basically like a drop, and so you just put some on your face. 
and then you rub it in. So the next step is this almond oil, okay? So again, this almond oil, I actually got it off of Amazon. Again, it's very difficult to find certain things here in Panama. So if you are in Panama, you might wanna get, you wanna get with it, you might wanna go on Amazon and purchase this. Um, this is 100% pure moisturizing almond oil. It is non-GMO verified. Um, so I actually like this because it's 100% natural. Now the thing with the black soap is that it dries out your skin so, 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 so bad. Like it dries your skin horribly. So it's important that you use a moisturizer and this is why I opt for the almond oil. Almond oil is good for skin, it's good for aging, it's good for wrinkling, um, it is good for uh, dark spots around your eyes and you know it keeps your girl like <laughs> yeah okay all right so I don't use a lot because this is very oily so I just go under my eyes with it and then my last step after I use that almond oil I use this which is the Nutrigena, the Nutrigena, I don't know why I can't say the word, Nutrigena, okay, daily moisturizer. And what I like about this is that it also has SPF 30 in it, which is super important for hyperpigmentation, ladies, I'm telling you, and gentlemen. Um, right here in this area, over here in this area, I suffered from a lot of hyperpigmentation. And a lot of it was because I wasn't using sunblock, so the sun was making it, the exposure from the sun was making my spots darker. Um, so yeah. And that is it guys. That is my skincare routine. During the day, I skip using this. Um, and I skip using this. I usually just go in with my black soap washing my face and then I use my toner and then I just go in with my almond oil and then this SPF. I know it took me a very long time to finally find a skincare routine that actually worked for me here in Panama because the heat and the humidity, the heat and the humidity was something very serious. So. I hope this helped. Out. Okay, guys, this concludes my skincare video. I hope this is something that helps you or helps someone else out there. If you are moving to Panama and you you happen to suffer from some type of skin problem or skin irritant, you know, try this out. It might help you. It definitely helped me. This is information from a licensed esthetician, um, and she specializes in skincare for melanated folks um i love everyone i don't want anybody to take this wrong because i feel like every time i say something you guys take it wrong but anyway um so yeah guys this concludes the video if you like this video if you find it helpful if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up um and if you are suffering from skincare problems or any skincare issues whether you're here in panama or you're in the states you can try it out if you have tried it out let me know in the comment section how it worked out for you if you don't want to try it out let me know what your skincare regimens are maybe it can help somebody else as usual guys as always peace and love